Hello, hello, hello. It's great to have you back on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we are going to talk about what this series is going to be about. It's going to be about BigQuery. BigQuery from Google Cloud Platform. And here we'll learn about SQL. What SQL is, is think of it as a connecting bridge between the data sets that are available and your analysis tools. So we use the SQL programming or SQL queries to fetch the data from data sets, bring it down to, let's say, local computer, write the code and in Jupyter Notebook, for example, in Python and do the analysis. Uh, there's no need to bring it down to local computer. If you are working in cloud, you'll have it uh, right there. You can bring it into notebooks in the cloud. So the big uh, query then is a free, uh, free of charge for it to use up to a certain level on Google google cloud platform and you do not need to add any credit card information if you use the bigquery sandbox and i'll show you how to get there if you do have a credit card information put in to your account then you can use some features that are restricted otherwise such as creating tables so either of those is fine uh, next is the cloud platform also has open source databases available that we can use uh, so that's going to be really helpful now the way this series go is going to progress is we'll start out with the basics of the clauses such as the select statement and uh, from where etc and we'll try to see what is the concept behind each of these how they work and once we are down with the basics and the concepts we can combine these together and try to uh, achieve certain objectives or ask questions based on a data set and try to write a query to see if we can fetch that data set from the databases for example if we have a data set of customers we have columns of a month the january february march and on the rows we have customer ids so with this information we can ask the questions such as which month has the highest number of customers or which customers spend uh, the highest amount of money in uh, any specific month and that type of information is uh, can be used in decision making uh, in the company as well so we'll proceed step by step and if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below because i uh, really look at those and uh, if there are any points of interest or topics of interest that you like to see covered in the series try to add that as well uh, if you uh, have any other comments please feel free to post them as well i hope to see you all in the next video in this series please like share and subscribe thank you